Oh. It's a glorious sunny day here on YouTube, Spotify, or Google Podcast. The birds are chirping, the wind is blowing, and you have found yourself on the Vitamin C Podcast. Have a seat and enjoy the show. Penis and balls. Welcome everybody to penis. another episode of the Penis Vitamin and C Balls. Podcast. Penis. And, that's how you're <laughs> opening it. Penis and balls. What a fat ass. What, what a lard ass. What are you talking about, bro? What a lard ass. We opened ass. it up nicely. Five. All right. Fuck me. It's oh, December seventeenth. Ooh, Cody with the timestamp. Twenty twenty one. You're on the last month of the shitty ass year, boys. This is. Oh. Well, are we even gonna are we even gonna get together for the podcast next Friday? Because next Friday is Christmas Eve. Because if we aren't, then this is the Christmas episode of the Vitamin C podcast. This is the Christmas episode because this comes out Christmas Day. No, it comes out Christmas Eve, dickhead. It Eve. comes out on Friday. This the next Friday is Christmas Eve. You good? No. You're good? Okay. All right. So, welcome to Vitamin Jingle. The vitamin, uh, no, Vitamin Cheer. Vitamin, vitamin cheer. cheer. Holiday That's Cheer. Was, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Shitsmas. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, whatever holidays you celebrate, congratulations. Hope yeah, happy holidays to yeah. everybody. To anyone who yeah. is enjoying the holiday season, you enjoy it. Unless you're a spoiled ability. little brat. In that case, fuck you. I hope <laughs> you get talking about cold. you, Daniel. Yeah, Daniel. I was going to say Timmy. Timmy, yeah, too. Timmy's His too brother, easy. Timmy. Timmy's too easy. Well, yeah, we always rag on Timmy. Timmy's too easy. We pull his underwear up over his head and came down the stairs. Fucking loser. Fucking asshole. Fucking asshole. Fuck you, Timmy. Shit in a Pringles can, yeah, piece of shit. Shit Pringles can, piece of shit, Timmy ass, bitch. <laughs> so welcome, everybody. So uh, welcome to the bully cast. <laughs> we, we bully our random people. <laughs> we bully random people who don't listen. <laughs> But, oh. um, yeah, so this, I guess this is technically our Christmas special episode. Yeah, this is our Christmas episode, and I am going to post on the Vita Snap for this wonderful holiday another spam message. Mm, uh, yum, yum, scam yum. Scam message I got. Yummy, yum, give me some. And my delicious um, reply. So, uh, check that out on the Vita Snap then. Excellent. And, uh, maybe I'll put some holiday cheer on now that photo. we did have a few topics laid out for today for your enjoyment but however we did not realize that this was going to be the christmas, christmas episode yes. so i will cut them down to maybe at least one so we're gonna try and get things a little cheery in here get some we're gonna change some, it up we're some, gonna go free yeah, form as we usually yeah, do yeah we're gonna we're gonna the primers. wing it we're gonna wing it so let's start uh we'll we'll start well, off why don't, with why don't we one. get the why don't we get the only planned one out of the way if we're narrowing it down to only one of the planned topics, why don't we just get that one out of the or, way? Or how about we don't worry about that because it's Christmas and fuck you. Well, fuck you, you asshole, you big bearded bastard eating all my cookies and milk every year. Look at that. Look at that luscious fucking mm -hmm. beard. Yeah. How do you even have a beard right now? Yeah, I'm going like, out. I, you literally can't grow facial hair. I know. And, and he just, it's so he just has an illustrious, illustrious white beard. Yeah. Here, I'll take a photo of it, like, right now. <laughs> hold, on, hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on. I yeah. gotta... Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, hold yeah. On. Just, just take a, a picture of it right here. He's such an illustrious fucking beard. I know, right? And it pisses me off uh -huh. every fucking right time. Here. Yeah, so that's my beautiful beard, everybody. It's yes. gorgeous. I've been... I've been really That'll go up on the uh, Instagram as well. Mm. Mm. Goddamn. Anyway, so today we're going to discuss favorite Christmas memories favorite christmas memories so just think about as much christmas as you can remember from your <sighs> previous you know christmas times oh. just give <gasps> me a good rundown by the time this christmas. comes out i'll be 23 <gasps> oh <gasps> shit that's right so it's not yeah, only man. is it vitamin cheer it's also vitamin cody vitamin Co cody in the house because <laughs> <laughs> he is having his birthday on the 22nd. I'll be an even older man. He'll be 23. Disgusting. Like me. Disgusting. Fucking gross. Send it back and mail it. Don't fucking return address that shit. I'll pay for the expedited shipping. Santa's gonna have a good one tonight. 
<laughs> but yes, to, it, Cody will be 23 by the time this airs and uh, mm. will also be ready for the Christmas season. So, Very Cody, nice. favorite Christmas memories? Favorite Christmas memories. Go ahead. Let me know. Sweet Christ. What can I even remember? Um, you can't remember anything from Christmas? It's that H. It's that H. Uh, I would say I got yelled okay. at okay. during okay. Christmas. Okay. okay, okay, well, let's... Okay, fine. Well, we can we can stretch this. We can stretch this. Instead of giving me your favorite oh Christmas memory, God. give me uh, a Christmas tradition. Give me something that you and your family... Put. So I got yelled at. <laughs> so I got yelled at called a bonehead. No, <laughs> That's a Christmas tradition. But no, no give me like a Christmas um. tradition that you and your family are always down to do every year down to christmas <laughs> dtc so i got yelled at and uh no um i don't think we really have any traditions oh, that's right i forgot you were jewish uh I'm personally not jewish. me uh, i'm not I've, uh, uh my, my uh, excuse me christmas tradition was i would go to my grandmother's usually and uh, he'd get hardwood I would go to my grandmother's usually, and I would... Flooring. She she had, you know, standard Christmas tree. They usually had, like, two Christmas trees. They had, like, one in, like, the main living room, and they had one down in the little recreational area. The wait, you, one... wait, wait, wait. You had two Christmas trees? My grandmother did. What the fuck? Yeah, she had one up. I don't know if she always did, but there, every was now it and like then there just, was, like, two trees. Was it just, like... It wasn't, like, a... like. Both big, real, full size trees. They're it was like, like no, they're you not had like colossus. You, no, they're but you not. had like a legit tree for like the stuff for like the holiday. Yeah. But then you had a little little decorative one. Well, they were both like standard Christmas tree size. Oh. One was just in the living area and one was in the rectory. See, I've area. never I never heard of like having two Christmas trees in like a house, only in like like, you know, like a public setting. Good man, I don't for, know. For shit. I mean, one of them, my cousin lived with them for a time. Yeah. Uh, so he had his, he had, like, a tree with, like, all his, like, Star Wars shit on it. Like, he had some dope-ass yeah. Star Wars decorations. I bet he still has them somewhere. Probably. But he had mm. his tree, and then there was the family tree in the living room. So I guess it was, like, maybe that was, like, a dichotomy kind of thing going on. There, there was the two things. But... Basically, there's this tradition that we have. I don't know if it's like a Dutch thing. I don't know what yeah. it is. There is an ornament, a very specific ornament, hidden on the tree that we have to find. And when we yeah. find it, we get like a little extra gift. Oh. This ornament was a pickle. It Stay right there. Pickle. Stay right there. Stay no right shit. There. You have a pickle Stay ornament? Right Stay right there. Oh my god. Is this just like a white Pennsylvania Dutch thing? <laughs> There's no fucking way. So he just dipped. Uh, he's just... Uh, he's, um, he's gone. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oh, oh, hey. So oh, you're back. Oh, thank I God. This actually in Michigan, I believe. For Dave. What is it? Uh, where's the fucking place called? It's a Christmas pickle. Okay. Oh, it's from Frankenmuth. Oh, where yeah. is he? At? And it's a fucking pickle with a hat. Uh, see, now this isn't quite it. No, of course it's not, but I saw that at Frankenmuth when I was in Michigan, and I, I'm i like, it's a Christmas pickle. I have to get the Christmas pickle. You know, this this isn't quite it. The Oh, shit, there, it is a p tradition. It literally says it right here on this tag. Yeah. Tradition of the pickle ornament. It's a German tra- of course. Oh, yeah. So it's a ger- yeah, Pennsylvania. The pickle yeah. brings mm -hmm. good luck. The pickle hidden somewhere within the branches- First child to find the gherkin was rewarded the with gherkin. an additional small present left by St. Nicholas. The pickle just, Even though, like, the first person got their gift, but, like, when the other kids yeah. found it, they got theirs, too. Like, it wasn't just, yeah. like, a, the first person who found it kind of thing, so we yeah. got spoiled there. But that is that... Yeah, no, that is just a German tradition. Okay. And 
Yeah. Now we have a Christmas pickle. But so we could technically the pickle practice it if we wanted the pickle. But see that one, that's not fair because that one has a hat. This one's and stupid it's red. obvious. Yeah, it has a red hat and it's obvious. The one that we have, it's just the pickle. So like when you hide that in a green tree, yeah, and like put it back in the branches somewhere, like it's it's hidden. Want to like, take a picture? That bitch stays in. There's one the year where my grandmother, my grandmother pulled a sneaky on us, and. We were all looking at the pickle, like, that. no matter how old we get, we're all always looking for the pickle, right? Yeah. Always looking for it. Um, so we were all looking, me, my brother, and my cousins, we're all looking around the tree for this pickle. Yeah. And we're like, where the hell is this pickle? Is that it? Is that it? Like, what the hell? Like, and we turn around, doesn't my grandmother come in wearing the pickle as an earring? <laughs> wearing... The pickle ornament as an earring. That's so. That's she cheating. totally cheated. She totally cheated. That's fucking cheating. She totally cheated that year. Did, did you see? You probably didn't. Uh, I've uh, on uh, YouTube. I follow Linus Tech Tips, right? And they did this hide and seek, hide and seek on this. They have kind of like a, like having fun around the office type channel and prank channel that they do with everybody, and uh, they did this massive hide and seek in his warehouse. Linus fucking cheated he pulled out this fucking thermo reader so he literally just went around looking for for heat signatures fucking cheater cheater fucking cheater fuck linus, you, linus cheat tips fuck you cheat tips fucking linus cheat tips <laughs> calling you out vitamin c calling podcast. you out linus <laughs> fight me fight us and come on the cast please yeah it should talk to you just about tech <laughs> yeah but but yeah, that's that's a tradition that that like my family would do. We would do the the pickle thing, and I guess it's a common German thing. Yeah, for German folk, it's very interesting. Cause I I mean I I think I probably have some German in me, but we are not primarily German at all. Like there's probably yeah, see, a very is. like smidgen of German. If we anything. need to do all right upcoming podcast episode. I'm saying it right now. We both do a twenty three in me. We both yeah, do 23 Yeah, I've been me, wanting to do it anyways. And we find out about our results. We save our results for the cast. We don't look at yeah, them. Yeah, we don't fucking Save look. it, and then when we get to the cast, yep. we're gonna be, we you, find out. Watch, we're going to look at it and be like, how the fuck do I read this? <laughs> like, what do you mean I'm 2% West African? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Where's West Africa even? The West. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the West. This guy. But, um... um no, but you don't uh, have any traditions. I, uh, the most, you know, I mean, it's just like going to your grandparents or something for dinner. Oh well, or... we used to. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've told this before on the cast. We used to have a thing called Monday night dinners, but that was all year round. I used to have Monday night dinners. Yeah, and then it switched to like Tuesdays. I never switched to Tuesday, but I always had Mondays. Well, it had to switch because of family stuff, but you know. But, uh, no, we, we always go to my grandparents for pretty much every holiday, for the most part. Okay. So, what'll happen is we all usually have Christmas at home, and then we all meet up at my grandparents to have mm -hmm. the rest mm -hmm. of Christmas there, or, and then they have a Christmas Eve party, every, you know, every now and again, every few years, but, um, things are different this year, so we're... We're playing it out, but uh, my grandfather was hopping back and forth between, oh, oh, I don't want to do Christmas here. And then it's like, okay, now I want to do Christmas here. So it's like, okay, I guess we're going back to my grandparents for Christmas. Well, he had to figure it out. Some it crazy was, shit's was, gone down. Well, it was going to be at my grand. It was going to be at my uncle's originally, because like that, and that would be nice and convenient for everybody. But um, now it's back at his house, so which is fine. It's a cat. It's the cabin. Um, also, we are, uh, going to have the bathroom redone here sometime hey. in January, February. So basically we're going to be living in the cabin for a minute cause, cool. so we can have cool. water essentially. That's great. That is great. Baby. That is fantastic. Yeah. And then he wants me to watch the cabin for a fucking month. A month. So I You're going to be up there for a month. So what I was saying was maybe I could play tag tag in and out cuz my mom wants to have the cabin for a little bit and I'm like that sounds like a fair thing. That sounds fair. Get me the fuck out of here. Exactly. Like I love the cabin and its isolation and everything, but Jesus Christ, that is I have to get up an hour early for work. Ugh. It's an hour drive. 
it's uh it's it's more shit to keep care of because you know like there's no food there i have to go shopping because my grandfather's doesn't eat a lot and he's old so yeah it's just it's just a lot more work than what i need your right grandfather's now. old no he's young he's really young he's 40 negative 40 whoa 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 <laughs> what would that look like a negative human the stardust <laughs> yo they're just they're just floating dust but they they telecommunicate or whatever Ooh. I'm in the negative 40s. Telepathy. Telepathy. Um, okay, well, let's say... All right. Oh, here we go. All right. I got a fun one for you. Cody, here's what I want Here's what I want this you to tell me. Dollars. Here's what I want you to tell me, right? Yeah. You have no limit, right? You have no limits, no, no boundaries. Describe to me yeah. your perfect christmas perfect christmas no perfect, boundary no boundaries your perfect christmas bro going up on a tuesday on a <laughs> <laughs> flying high <laughs> um no but uh i would say going to like a legit like one of them legit cabins mm. and like the dead ass woods on like a mountain and having like a not like a bad blizzard but like a perfect blizzard like calm snow but still heavy enough to give you like maybe a foot foot and a half mm -hmm. and then like next to a lake that's frozen and just chilling the fuck out for a whole ass week at that perfect place and then having christmas there and then just you know like you go outside you fucking drink hot cocoa when you come back in and you're just chilling with the fam or whoever's there. It's just perfect. That's the unrealistic one. Hmm. Mm. I see. You know what the realistic one is? Well, no, I was just pissed because you stole mine. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> well, That's I've, like the same. I've kind of like had like a back like a like on the back burner kind of like a a mini dream if i ever got rich that if i when i retire at some point i'm going to get a house i'm gonna get like a cabin like one of the nice cabins the woods. and like in like the mountains or whatever and then i'm just gonna bear proof the place bear proof the place and then um just get a bunch of people to i'm gonna buy wire around in that bear well, armor i'm, I'm gonna shoot the guards them. the guards are wearing bear armor <laughs> <laughs> and the they bears. have like ak-47s no um but i'm basically just gonna like live in a nice cabin by the lake have everything bear proof and i might actually buy the bear armor fuck it why not suit up karen so suit one day up. before your de your untimely death you're gonna be like ah oh. You. Well, I'm going out anyway. And you throw on yeah. the armor and you stomp out into the snow. This is for you, Balto! <laughs> there's this big-ass bear that you call, like, Big Papa or some there's, shit. It's just this there's... big grizzly and you're like, you! So crunch, wait, crunch, so crunch. Wait. Here's the thing. Is it going to be the bear from the Fox and the Hound? Or is it going to be the bear from Balto that I you, need my You cannot... You cannot let go of that fucking Balto bear. That was horrifying. They were both very horrifying bears. I'm gonna throw both up on screen. Jesus Christ! I was gonna throw. I'm gonna throw both up on screen right now, side by side. The Balto they bear looks like fucking, venom, right? They're fucking horrifying. I know he's fucking scary, right? The Balto bear looks like venom from the old joke? comics. They're fucking horrifying. That They're is both freaky. terrifying bears. I grew up being like, dude, bears are fucking scary. Ugh, God, and yeah, the fox see... and the hound bear was freaky, too. Let me see that, let me see that. That I, dude was I just angry, forget. like, all the time. It's the red eyes. And the problem is, those aren't even grizzlies. Those are black bears. Black bears aren't even that big. Yeah, no, this motherfucker was big, big. Like, he was... He was yeah, a... that's a fucking grizzly. He was thick. No, it's bullshit. A misinterpretation for black bears. <laughs> Or missing misrepresentation. I don't know. I'd almost, I'd almost say that the the Balto bear is scarier, only because like it's just red. It's well, it's just it's red. like an orangey red color in the eyes, but then like they're so there's it's so like dark that oh you can only see like the shine of like yeah. lights and shit. It, well, he's more of like a silhouette of death. He's freaky. Uh, yeah, he's a freaky boy. They're both fucking terrible bears, 
And I grew up like thinking that they were the same bear for some reason, no, or that bears. they were, or that I had the movie Swap too. I had the bears. You know what's kind of you know what's kind of in the league with that. Hang on. What? What's kind of in that league is Did you show me Boog the Bernstein Bernstein Bears, or the fucking um. No, fucking Sharp Tooth from Land Before Time. Yeah. He's like in the same he's like in the same He was never s- that scary for me, but yeah. No, but he's like in the same he's the area. Mindless, he's got he's like mindless, the, the red eyes. Yeah, and the, the the mindless monster. Uh what what was that fucking movie from our childhood, uh, where the dinosaurs are in New York and they oh. meet this street kid. Oh, oh and then the yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. circus. Oh, uh, we're back a dinosaur yeah, story yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah. yeah, they turn into fucking horrifying monster like uh, legit dinosaurs. And in one part, dude, that, that thing fucked me up as a kid. I was like, What the fuck? I was like, But they were so happy and nice. Let me let me let me pull up a picture of that. Like well, I'm looking for the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, he turned... Yeah, they turned me... into, like, actual dinosaurs. Yeah, they turned into fucking actual dinosaurs. I was like, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Fuck, dude. That thing was cool, though. He he looked badass in that. Yeah, he was badass. And that was back when they had the skeletal structure of a T-Rex still... In- still off. Still raw. A little weird. Yeah, it was standing up like Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> uh... But other than that, uh, yeah, my favorite Christmas would essentially be the same thing. You know, having a nice cabin up in the woods during a snow, not a yeah. snowstorm, but a snow like a squall. See, see, I, I love, I love nothing more than like quiet and just like I'm not even, you know, I'm not even like a, a little cold bit. guy, but like to be up in the cabin. Ooh, ooh. And then to, like, carry it on from Christmas to New Year's, because then you can have, like, New Year's party at the cabin. You know what was the best feeling? And this is just a winter thing. But every winter here, when I was back in the, the room downstairs down there, right, I had my bed against the wall, so, like, towards your house. And I would crack the window, and the whole top of the roof would be covered. And then, so, you'd get these wisps of, of the wind with, the like, the in the snow Mm -hmm. sometimes the snow would blow in but but in off in the distance you would hear the the train oh yeah it was so and and like the dead silence and it was so fucking nice and then the moonlight just lit the whole place up that is my favorite winter memory just i could sleep for a million years to that that was beautiful and perfect i Uh, think that kind of falls into the same vein of like I have that during summer memories, because one of my mm. favorite summer memories is laying in my when I had my small Your room window, yeah. and I had like my my what my, my like single bed. Yeah, I would lay on that. I had my fan in the window, but it was nighttime and you could just like hear the cicadas. Yeah, you could hear the train or whatever. But like it was basically what you had with the winter. But the I had Minecraft it with the laptop. The the nostalgia uh, video. Uh, there's a video on. There's actually quite a few videos online of like 2009 nostalgia or whatever. You're playing Minecraft in your you're bedroom while, Minecraft. Your pa- while your parents argue downstairs no, back in 2013. No, 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 <laughs> that's the meme. But no, no, the nostalgia one is like you're playing Minecraft in your bedroom on a summer night, late on the summer night, and mm-hmm. you can hear the crickets. You can hear like all the crickets like, and cicadas and shit. And it's oh, dude, it's so fucking peaceful. There's just something about like. Like your your environment, even if it's just nostalgia, it just it brings you back to a better time. I think that's like true nostalgia. That's mm-hmm. not kind of like a blinding nostalgia in most cases. I also think that another nostalgia. dream, like place of mine, would be almost like a almost like an elven kingdom, like in the woods kind of Ooh. thing. I would want it Narnia where type shit. Well, sort of, but, like, I would want it where, like, there was this elven kingdom or whatever, but there's this little spot, like, just off the kingdom where there's, like, a lake with, like, a soft waterfall in it. Yeah. And in the middle of that lake is, like, a gazebo. Or a condre. Condre. We'll tell that yes. story, then. We'll tell that story in the coming but years. But the, there's, like, a gazebo in the middle, <laughs> and in that gazebo is a hammock. It's, like, just a hammock. Yeah. And you can get on the step stones and go out to the gazebo, just lay in that hammock, and just lay in the middle of this lake with, like, a gentle... Yeah. Like a nice falls, and it's just like, ugh. Just to be able to have that and be peaceful. Yeah. Oh, my God. 
It would be so Dude, nice. There have been so many times where I just sat in the dead of winter in snow and just taking it in. Just not, something about the sky going brown with the clouds when it's late. The sky going brown? Yes. The sky, if you look up at the sky when it's like, when there's like a snowstorm or going to be one or whatever, or there's like. Oh, at night? It's like. Yeah, at brown. night it's like a brown. That's mainly because of light pollution, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, light pollution does something unique here. Uh, you got the brown sky. You can see the clouds. The moonlight's like adding to it. A little bit. And then you see, you can just have the snow, the dead of silence, and just, you can just take it all in. It's, like, perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What happened? Oh, nothing was better. Not a goddamn thing was better than ha- waking up to a two-hour delay, oh. seeing the snow outside, and playing video games, and then getting the call that school's canceled. Mm-hmm. Nothing was better than that. Yeah, there's like that little bit of anxiety too. Like I got two hour delay, and you're playing your game, and you're like, but but it's like pre, it's like the pre work. Well, no, no, no. It's like pre work anxiety where it's like, oh god, god, god. like Like Sunday is like, I gotta go in. God damn it, I gotta go. Oh no, no. And then you get the call, and you're like, (gasps) well, it's like even at work. Like when we're on Sunday, it's like, fuck, we gotta go work. But then like it snows overnight, and you wake up in the morning, and you find out like, oh shit, like. Well, Road conditions are not good enough for us to be going out right yeah. now. So, yeah. Problem We're going to be here. Problem with work is, like, up here, they don't really understand where we're at because we're in more of a hilly area. Mm-hmm. So, when the snow hits, you can't do shit about it. You got to go out and shovel uh, and hope that it doesn't ice over and that the roads clear up. But Or, like, when it rained hard enough, right? You know how many fucking things were closed off because of flooding? Mm-hmm. We couldn't get to work, and it took two hours. So, like, fuck that. Mm, we're we not doing that there. again. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't do that shit again. That's ridiculous. I don't know. What would be another... I'm trying to think of nice... I know this is the Christmas episode, but I'm kind of you know caught what up I, on this You comfy. know what I really didn't do? What? I really didn't make a lot of gingerbread houses. I, I felt never, like I never I've made a always, gingerbread house. I, I always made gingerbread houses at other people's houses. I never never my own. Never. never like our families or anything. I've never made a gingerbread house ever. Um, I remember going to Michigan uh, the one year for Christmas. And something about Michigan is it's more north. So clear, it gets colder faster. It They usually get snow before us. And holy fuck. The ice is a goddamn menace up there. Yeah. It's doubled down. Oh, goodness. Sorry about that, guys. Well, we had... It's been a week. It's, hey! <laughs> hey! That was, hey. that was the title in quotations of the ca- of episode 42, by the way. <laughs> That's great. I don't know if you saw that. Well, no. It's just like... Because we work a full-time a job. So by the time we get to the end of our week, so we can come down here... It's some, we're a little, but this is a nice little, way to unwind for us as well. Yeah, we're a little from tired ready from, for the weekend. from doing all of our, all of our work. Yeah. But um, so, um, thinking about Cozy, I guess I have another one. Another cozy thing would be like, let's say we're back in that like snowy cabin, right? Uh, mm. Let's say, let's say you and I, we own that cabin. Like we, we live in that cabin. Fireplace would be good, but mm. I want an area. I want a nest. I want like a little, like, you know, those, a loft. you know, those sun porches where like all sun it's porch. like big windows and it's just like all windows all around and like sliding doors and shit. Yeah. I want one of those, but I want like a nice big, like round bed in the center. So like oh. I can lay there, wrap my blanket around myself and just like look out. I feel too vulnerable. I don't know. I maybe. would love that for like, well, maybe I would, you... you know what I want? I would want one that's almost like a, dug out or dig out or whatever it's called the way like step down into it yeah you have to step down into it and it's slightly halfway like half of it's like into the ground so like you look you can look out and like it's almost like a basement but it's it's more but if you get enough snow it's just gonna bury that those windows well that's why you have heaters near the windows You can line heaters across the no, because if, if you that's only gonna heat for so far, it's still gonna be like a foot of snow in front of the windows. Nah, you can you can take measures. That's why I said like a sun porch. You can take measures. Even something that's that. like elevated, like even if it was like an elevated sun porch, it's like you could go out there and lay lay down and relax and just look out over the mountain. I remember falling shit. down the steps. The one I don't know if it was Halloween or more towards Christmas. 
But I was walking outside of my aunt and uncle's old house, and uh, I just eat shit. Like, fell on my ass, dun, 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 all the way down Oh, don't even steps. get me like, started. Because it's completely covered in ice, and I just slid. It don't get me started. Whoa. I, uh, back in intermediate school, because we have those. Oh, yeah, that's Back a in classic. intermediate school, we were coming in from recess, because we still did Bob. that, too. Uh, we were coming in from recess, and I was, I was coming in, and I hit a patch of ice, and I slipped Ooh. flat on my back. And I got yeah. the wind knocked out, and that was the first time I ever had the wind knocked out of me. I, I hit my back, and it was just. <gasps> oh, I remember! I remember running down. I don't know if it was. A, I don't think we had a tour to late, but I woke up late. Um, but um, I ran down to the bus stop, and I slipped and landed on my ass really hard. And then I like brushed myself off. I'm like, fuck, fuck, it. I'm fucking. I'm like, where's the bus? Where the fuck's the bus? And uh, this person pulled up. I guess they went to my school, and they're like, yeah, school's canceled. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you. And I'm like, I guess they've so seen me at school. you had to walk school. back up with your Well, I, I guess ass. she saw me at school once. Well, so either that or she assumed you were going to a bus stop because yeah. you had your bag and shit. So she was just yeah. like, hey, you don't actually but have like, to go. She could have gone to a different school is what know. I'm thinking. Like, I don't know. But, but I got lucky, and I was like, great. I just came down here, ran down here. I ran down the hill, mm -hmm. fell on my ass, and then had to sit in the cold for a hot minute <laughs> waiting. And I was like, fuck. But I was like, at least I don't have, you know, I have to go. But um, there was another time. Well, well you, it reminded me your story. Um, what was it? You said you slipped and me fell. Me falling flat on my back and getting the wind knocked out of me? Yeah, the wind knocked out of you, right? First time I ever got the wind actually knocked out of me, I was at my one of my aunt's wedding. And um, I was running around with one of the one of the kids because we were, we were young at the time, whatever. Uh -huh. And at this place, a very nice place, um, it had these thick fucking wooden beams about chest high on me and uh i was coming around and i looked over smashed into it full oh. force full fucking force oh. and i was like <laughs> and for 15 to 20 minutes i was on the ground and my people started to notice they're like oh is he okay is he okay? And they, I couldn't just move. Because like, I couldn't move. I couldn't breathe and I couldn't move. And like they had to come over and help me, but they didn't notice for like at least three minutes because like they're oh, that's just there. Cody. He loves laying well, down like yeah, that. right, right. Because people are people were dancing and whatever in the main hall. The door was open, thank God. And they're like, "Holy shit, is that is Cody on the ground? Uh, is he okay?" <laughs> like, oh God, he's dead. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, not getting the knock. Uh, getting the wind knocked out of you is one of the worst. Uh, oh my god! I I never forgot that feeling. It's awful. All right, ringing these jingle bells of 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 oh. of returning to the topic. Jingle 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 um, jingle. I think an underrated memory. I feel like is when it would snow, and you know our yards aren't the best sledding hills they're not oh they're, my they're, god they're not great but the old man across the street oh i remember that the old man across the street you would always be like oh come on don't buy and he's he, he did pass recently unfortunately yeah that's that's one of the reasons i'm bringing nice it up man, was yeah. because you know him and his dog him his and his toothless dog, dog his toothless old ass dog <laughs> Dude, that and he would always because he had a hill. He had a oh, nice that, hill. That sledding. hill right over there, yeah, is like fucking steeper than any hill in the that area. Perfect for sledding. So oh he would, we would always God. go over to over to his place. Oh, that brings back a memory to uh, to sled. I remember going down. He also has trees at the bottom of the hill. I remember smacking oh. into those a few times. I think I hit his. I I think I hit. Um, I think I hit his car at one point. His girlfriend's <laughs> car at one point, and then I also ran. I, I, I went down the hill and I couldn't stop and I tried bailing and I me and my sled were still going the same rate next to each other and we and then I hopped back on my sled just before getting to the road and I slid halfway into the road and I was like 
It was like I was like cause, He's dead Cause like I was scared That I was gonna get hit By a fucking car <laughs> And I was like I didn't think I could pick up That much momentum Yeah but Rest in peace Old man Yeah he was He was something else Dude Hope he to was god Whatever shit. afterlife you're, Whatever shit. afterlife You're living in You better have a nice hill Because I'm yo, coming sled yeah, Fuck yeah <laughs> Oh my god Yo let me tell you What he said the one day Right so I guess not not the his initial girlfriend his initial girlfriend uh his bit I, I'm just gonna call call her his wife she unfortunately you know she she went into a home at some point and you know passed eventually but her daughters uh basically treated him as a father and they take care of him it's very nice mm -hmm. um and basically um. <laughs> uh, so he was telling me because years later after she passed, he he was starting. You know, he's a player. Like you know, he, yeah, he's getting the bitches. Donnie. He was getting the old Donnie was getting the bitches and get. He got a new car. He got all this shit. You know, he was having like what you think normal people have a midlife crisis and buy some fancy shit, bro. He was having a late life, like in good time, right? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker would got a new car. He had this girl, uh, his girlfriend, his new girlfriend or whatever. And uh, I guess she tried, like, doing something or whatever or saying, like, about something, right? So he's like, he's like, oh, no, 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 no. It's just some, probably something about moving in or whatever. <laughs> and uh, he's like, he's like, hell no. And it's like, I want my dishes back or whatever because she cooked him something. And uh, he, at the end of it, he's basically walking away, gave her the finger. <laughs> Yo, he did not give his and and when we say old man, we're not talking about like rah, rah, rah. we're talking about like a very like look like he's about a crackle mm -hmm. like look like little soft soft voiced old man like yeah, adorable. Yeah, yeah, the voice was very. Uh, soft, but he was it? a straight fucking thug in every mention of the word. It's it's amazing. Yeah. He was fly he high, was a badass. Thanks for the memories, man. Absolute badass. You and your fucking toothless dog who lived forever. And Sandy, holy Good old Sandy. yeah, sad. Jesus Christ, that's the oldest dog I've ever seen. He's an old ass that dog. That dog was old. Used to than leave him almost. used to leave him outside yo, that in the snow. Yo, that motherfucker would bar 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 at all that Donnie's man. deaf as fuck cuz he's old. So so like he would be barking all night and it's like god damn it Sandy. <laughs> Let him in. <laughs> Let the boy in. Oh, good times. <sighs> He used to yeah. take he used to take uh, Sandy to the races, cause oh uh, yeah the races, yeah. Uh, um, dirt track yeah dirt track dirt track it was funny, good old dirt track, but yeah some good some good holiday cheer some good holiday topics um yeah yeah I like I like cozy. I like the holiday very topics nice. very cozy very I'm I nostalgic think, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna rear it over though oh now. You're already packing up Christmas? It hasn't even gotten here yet. This episode comes out on Christmas Eve. It's not even here yet. Mm. Well, if you can think of more Christmas topics after this topic, then... Um, best Christmas movie. Mm. It's... Mm. Mm. I want to say Elf, but it's not Elf. I like Elf, but it's not Elf. <laughs> It would be... I'm Mr. White Christmas. No, no, no. I'm Mr. Snow. <laughs> Put one foot in front oh, of the other. Oh, Santa Claus is coming other. to town? Yeah, that's a Classic. bob. I like Rudolph. Burgermeister Meister Berg. I, I like Rudolph, but I used to be scared of the Abominable Snowman. Like the stop motion. Like, oh, rah, rah, oh, yeah. No, he scared rah, me rah. too as a kid. Yeah, he yeah. He used to frighten me. Yeah. He used no, to the, frighten me. No, all those fucking movies are a bob. Yeah, the old stop motion ones. They're they're a piece of history, them's. I'm hearing static again. Yeah, I I that's why we're acting like all funny and whatever because I'm like hearing it and I'm like, oh. but uh, it's just it's this it is this, I and I can't really do anything Christmas. about that because it's I'm a splitter. Uh, what? Pretty sure I saw it somewhere. <clears throat> What's that, Casper? Uh, Fidel? Ca wait, no wait. Fidel Casper? <laughs> Fucking the ghost? Um, no, who was the fucker? Uh, Fidel Castro? No. The newer one. 
I'm joking. Uh, no, he's uh, not cute. Fellow Castro was cute. No, no, no. Yeah, he was right? cute. Are you talking about the Mexican? Uh, yeah, I'm cartel? talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, El Chapo? No. No. There's another guy. I don't know. There was I don't somebody else. Names. There was a big drug pin in, back in the day. Big drug pin. Big bowling big, pin. Big old drug pin. Big old bowling pin with a sack of weed. Absolutely. But you, all right, well, we just had favorite Christmas movies. Um, uh, let's see. What, 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 The Grinch. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. The Grinch. That's my favorite. The animated? Jim Carrey's. Or the Jim Carrey Jim one. Carrey's The Grinch. That is my favorite Christmas movie, hands down. What will I wear? <laughs> when he's eating garbage, I have never seen a man make garbage look tasty. When he's when he eats the but bottle, he, the, the glass, glass bottle, it's it has the same effect as. Do you remember the original Willy Wonka when he picked up the cup and took a bite out of it and the plate? Yeah, that yeah. is the same effect. Something so crunchy. I've never wanted to eat glass. I've never. More in my life. <laughs> I've never wanted to eat glass in my life, but that moment, those two moments made it so possible. <laughs> something about it. Jesus. What are you gonna, what, what are you gonna say? Um favorite holiday food. Favorite holiday f- like for what this? what what yeah, let's say uh you're going to a dinner. What what do you want to see on that table? Uh for Christmas dinner, me personally, I want to see some honey baked ham would be dope. Ham. Don't even get me started, dude. I'm no, so it's got to be honey baked ham. I'm so excited for ham. Honey baked ham. I want to see. There's you. The, the, Pop up said there would be duck. I, I'm going to bust out the duck sauce for that shit, duck. too. That's just so good. Duck um, sauce on duck. Damn right. That's what it's for. Uh, wow, he's really struggling with this one. I, I honestly think I'd say ham. Like a nice good ham. Yeah, I think that's it. Holiday like sugar cookies. Uh, I can holiday fuck, I can just fuck with them. Oh, fuck me. I'm an idiot. All of the desserts, all of the sweets that come with it. Oh, absolutely. Get all your... the cookies, the brownies, the cakes, the chocolate. Oh, my God. I just remembered another Figgy hidden memory. Pudding. Bring Figgy pudding. Do all the like the Grinch fucking food. I don't, I, I, I don't know. They came without Ham roast beef. They came without tags. God. They came without something. Boxes of bags. I, cu- I couldn't. Of bags. I couldn't remember you, the other. Just ah, oh, motherfucker. But uh, there was. Amazing. There used to be one of my favorite Christmas things to do. I haven't done it in forever, and I really need to get back to it. Is going to like a Christmas tree farm. Going to a Christmas oh tree farm God. is one of the best parts about Christmas. When you go, Jeez. you pick out a tree. Oh, that's another. <gasps> Short, we shorter. should do. We should do. Uh, we should do a uh, uh, a little vitamin C. Um, gets a tree. Gets a tree. The vitamin C gets a tree. Well, it's a bit late for that, honestly. Yeah, we're a little late to get a tree. Yeah, maybe next year. Maybe next year. But my dad and I, our our little thing for Christmas, we would um, when we go to a Christmas tree farm, and we would. Go to what was called the Charlie Brown Christmas tree section. Yeah. Charlie Brown Christmas trees are the most piddly ass, pathetic little shits you would ever see in your entire life. They're basically the rejects. My father and I would find the piddliest, weakest, saddest, tree. saddest little tree and take that bitch home. Was... And then try and put ornaments on it. That, that was like our... a charity. You take home a tree. Yeah, because my dad he worked for he worked for the borough of the, mm. our town and yeah. he would occasionally find like orphan ornaments. Mm. So he the, we would basically have like a little orphan tree with orphan ornaments on it. It was yeah. just like a little some some. But we used to have a Christmas tree farm close by. I really miss it. Mm-hmm. Um it was called Sherlin Forest. It was a be- it was a really nice Chris really hefty Christmas tree farm. But yeah. Santa would be there. Oh. He was there. And you could go in there, you could get a cookie, a little thing of hot chocolate, sit on Santa's lap, tell him what you want for Christmas. Oh my god. And they also had the ornament shop right right by it. What was your worst Christmas experience? I know mine. Ooh, I don't even know if I have my one. my worst Christmas experience, I have a, there's a photo of it. And I remember because every time I see that photo in my head, I go back to the moment. 
And I don't remember specifically why I was scared of Santa, but I was fucking scared of Santa. I was like, I was like, stranger with a beard. I was just like freaking out. There was this big fat guy in a suit. And you want me to sit on his lap? And you want me to sit on his lap? Oh. And he had a giant beard. And we were just, we were, we were at like a Santa thing. And I was bawling my fucking eyes out. It was horrifying. I was like, who the fuck is this? Why am I sitting here? I can't say I have a bad Christmas memory. I I, I can't I mean, think of anything off the top everybody, of my head. Everybody, there's there's a lot of kids who cry the first have, time. I, I cried a lot as a kid. That was just me. I, 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 I little was a, bitch. I was a little bitch. I was little a little bit bitch. of a bitch. Let's go kick the shit out of little yeah, us. Yeah, let's do that. Yo, young us needs our asses kicked. Yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. But <laughs> the for show of force was just so. The experience was just so fun. Like, I wish it was still here because it's like a, it was a local yeah. tree farm. Like, it, yeah, it's the only other tree farm I can think of is like out quite a ways. Yeah. And I'm talking like a real tree. I'm not out talking a tree lot. I'm talking, talking a, a tree, tree farm. farm. A tree farm mm. is badass. If you've mm. never been to a tree farm, it's basically this big ass. It's like area. a field. It's like acres and acres yeah. of fields where they just plant like pine trees, like specifically like the, the Christmas yeah. trees. I've been to that. You there. go out, yeah. you saw your own, you come back, they wrap it up, they usually have cookies, hot chocolate, and yeah. shit for you. Yeah. It the last is time great. I went to a real tree farm, um, I went with my aunt and uncle because my mom is allergic to um, pine. Pussy. So, right? Pussy, bitch, fucking drink. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, no, uh, she kicked my ass, but. Uh, no, last time I went was with you them. Kick your ass. Well, you need some pine. She can't touch you. <laughs> She'll still put me in a fucking headlock and throw me down a flight <laughs> of stairs. She don't care about the rash. She'll throw your ass down the stairs. She'd be like, I'll get over it, EpiPen. <laughs> like, she'll get through it like the Hulk. Um, But basically, she's like, oh, well, that's a good idea for you guys to go since uh, I can't, you know, we never had a real tree. We always had a fake Christmas tree, which eventually got ruined and we had to throw out and now we have this cute little little tree that we hang don't give me that fucking grinch grin triple chin you ugly bitch looking like uh looking like a uh, dj khaled replica i don't i guarantee to you that looked nothing like dj khaled i didn't even see the face I mean, the big I can, nose match i can guarantee <laughs> yo go Hey, welcome to the no air in your fucking lungs cast. Welcome to the vitamin wheeze cast. <laughs> vitamin wheeze cast. Yo, uh, you didn't know this, but I portrayed Wheezy from uh, Toy Story. All of his wheezes were voiced I by me. I think I feel a song coming on. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's the whole song. <laughs> it's just him. <laughs> give, me that, the mic. give me that microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like he's just singing like a whole Frank Sinatra bit, but oh, it's like wheezing. Oh God, that's great. That would be beautiful. I, I think we need to go to a Christmas tree farm or something. That sounds lit. That sounds lit as shit. Litty as fuck. That um, sounds lit AF, my guy. No cap. <laughs> I want to punch you so badly right now. <laughs> Oh, you're oh, never gonna see these faces shit, unless no. uh, unless one day we get things set up. We'll get a I wanna set. get I do wanna get a set. If we're not because if we're not we're we're if we're not renting together, because you wanna you wanna take some time, you wanna take your time with it. And I like for moving out. Well it's not that I'm trying I'm just I want it to be right. I want it to just be like I want like a nice first place that I can just Buckle down and I don't know, dude. You find a place, damn it. I am. I'm got, I'm Go ahead. You I'm find a I'm find us a place. Nick. I'm looking with Nick. Oh, you're looking with Nick now. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Vitamin trader okay. here. Okay. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> vitamin court martial over here, bitch. <laughs> court martial. That's a C word. Mm, vitamin Starts with a C. Cuck. <laughs> vitamin cunt. Oh. oh. Vitamin chubby. Vitamin Claude. Vitamin Clint. 
<laughs> That's our OnlyFans. That's our own. <laughs> oh my god, no. So vitamin funny. cock. Vitamin cabbage. Vitamin cock and balls and also semen. <laughs> vitamin crepes. Oh. Oui. Oui, oui. Oh. Uh, this is devolved. This, this is, is devolved. devolved. Let's get it back on track. Let's get back on track. All right. So I, I um, uh, I was editing the cast last uh, night. I was uh, <laughs> uh th- I was. Yeah, you were editing the cast last I night. I was editing the cast last night, and yeah. I kind of realized something. Oh yeah. When you get into editing, <laughs> he's bad because I don't have a Christmas topic. <laughs> He's so upset. Look at him. Look at his ugly ass, big nose looking Andrew Garfield looking ass motherfucker. <laughs> Doesn't even look like Andrew Garfield. He looks like Tobey Maguire from the third movie after he got the edginess. Yo, what kind of socks are you wearing? Uh, they're <laughs> they're tall. They're tall red socks, actually. What makes them? Uh... What about them? Socks. What? Ma- <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I was not prepared to answer this question. Well, hey, well, you uh, pulled them it- up. You pulled them up, and I was gonna say tall, but you, then you pulled them up, and I'm like, fuck, I what can't ma- say tall. What makes your socks socks? <laughs> yeah. So you're just sitting there like <laughs> existence. Uh, they exist. I mean, they're socks. Ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is a nice Christmas pickle. It has a little bit of cum at the bottom. <laughs> cum pickle? Cum pickle. Oh, God. Cum oh, pickle. No, stop, stop. It's de- stop. It's de- stop it. Pickle it's devolving. Surprise. Yeah. What was that about again? Something terrible. I remember we got yelled at as kids when we saw that video. Stop smacking the mic. Stop. Smacking my pickle like it's a Michael. Stop it. <laughs> so what you doing for New Year's? Uh, I mean, technically we'll have a cast before New Year's, I think. Yeah. No. Bro, I want yeah, to we'll have fun. A... I want to have fun on New Year's. I don't want to be like, I don't want to go to another fucking shitty party. I always get dragged along with like. You can come with us. My parents group. to like co-worker parties or something. Well, we, we go over to Nate's place. We have a good time. Hey, this time I won't. I this time I won't. Get so drunk that I'm like, Please, you're talking can, shit. I don't want to do that you're again. You're talking shit. I love you guys, but I do not want to have another Fuck New you. Year's like that. <laughs> Nathan's uh, brother thought it was hilarious. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. No, I know Alex thought it was funny because I had to babysit you guys. It was horrible. <laughs> I won't. No, because I'm not doing lemon drops with Nathan's mom this time. Not again. No, that was that your, was that was the pinnacle you'll just right drink there. Drink your equivalent in rum. By the way, I can't go back to Kraken. You can't. Kraken is fucking disgusting to me now. Yeah, you can't go back to Kraken after you've had decent rum. Yeah. It's kind of like audio. Yeah. It's kind of like audio. Or headsets. Rum like, is like audio. If you <laughs> rum, rum is like audio. <laughs> Cody 2021. <laughs> Cody 2012? What? <laughs> 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 oh, no. We can't. <laughs> Weezing, I choose you. <laughs> Weezing! Oh, Weezing! Yo, which Pokemon do you think give the best head? <laughs> Weezing? <laughs> or... That's where you wrong. Or Pikachu. <laughs> That's oh. Oh. Nah, man, it's gotta be like uh, oh. Jinx or Lickitung, man. Nah, I got you. Ditto. Oh, <laughs> shit, you're right. Ditto's a slut. Ditto's a fucking hound dude. Ditto's a- oh, speaking of Jinx... <laughs> um, I guess I can talk about this. Uh, oh yeah, Arcane, dude. All right. So I, I first of all, you first that. off, I don't care much for League as a game. I don't really care and about also League. fuck the community. But I always did like. I liked the art. I liked their trailers. KDA's I liked their characters. KDA is a fucking bop. Yeah, it is a bop. And I'll fight anyone don't who says me. they're not. Um. But, like, everything that's not the game or the community, like, the lore, the characters, the trailers, the music, beautiful. Arcane is, is like, no exception to that rule. Arcane is fucking gorgeous. I love that show. I think it's got to be, like, my favorite show right now. For, like, 
Because, like, I'm a sucker for, like, fantasy shit. So, like, I needed some, you know, new crazy fantasy shit to really hit me. And I'm like, okay, I've been interested in League shit. I've been interested mm-hmm. in knowing more about it, knowing more about the lore. So this is the perfect opportunity. This yeah. show just hits all them notes, man. The music is good. The characters are good. The animation, the acting. The... But you know I can't watch it until I finish Better Call Saul. You, We have to finish Better Call Saul That's first. right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we still haven't finished we, Better Call Saul. We, last year, we picked up Better Call Saul again because I, I don't know if you've ever watched it before, but I watched it with my family before. But because um, Netflix stops at season, what was it? Season four. four? Season five is on like AMC's season, website. Yeah. Season five, the last fucking season has never been on or available for me or I missed the opportunity. And so I've never been able to finish it. So we rewatched it at work. Uh, actually, the one Phil- Felix episode around that mm-hmm. time. Um and ever since then, we literally have not been able yeah, no, to four for years. seasons. It's still yeah, not on here. We for years, these fuckheads have just been cucking everybody from the last season. It's like, why? I don't know. But dude, fuck you, AMC. Trust me, I know you don't like League. I know that you don't like the idea of League. I don't like the idea oh. of League mostly either. But no. All right, this I missed my note. nut button. I wish I had a nut button. <laughs> I would never be able to use it. No, like I used to have one of those nut buttons where you hit it and go nut. Yeah, I used to have one of those. Can't you? Oh, you can swap the batteries. No, it's broken. That one you can. I swap the batteries on. But yeah, but like, I highly recommend Arcane. Like, if you just like animation and yeah. like that kind of shit and the whole as a whole, even if you don't care much for League, that that this it's wonderful. I highly recommend, and yeah. I I want to watch it again. <laughs> like just even by myself i'm gonna probably watch it again yeah it's not often that a show blows me away like that but like i've been thinking about arcane since i watched it <laughs> and usually a show doesn't do that like even full metal alchemist has kind of been wiped from my memory because of arcane no not metal wiped alchemist like i loved so one i loved brotherhood Alch- by the way yeah We're i watched brotherhood, brotherhood. I, sp- I binged through brotherhood i liked well, Full Metal Ghost Brotherhood, him. but compared that compared to Arcane, Arcane has stayed in, more in my head than mm-hmm. that has. The short memes never end. Um, oh yeah, Edward Elric is a short king. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> so anyway, everybody, thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Vitamin C, the Vitamin Cheer episode, the holiday Vitamin special. Cheer. Um. So it yeah, it, it, uh, be sure to check us out on Spotify, Google Podcast, Anchor, anywhere you get your. We are well, not anywhere. We are looking to eventually put up on SoundCloud and possibly and iTunes. Maybe iTunes in the future, but I, you know, like I said, I just yeah. iTunes is be sure to right find now, us so. on Instagram, Twitter, uh, eventually TikTok. We're kind of working that out too. Yeah, we gotta. Yeah, we gotta work on those. We but, are. Yeah, we're, we're like I said, we we spreading. have we've actually just talked today about like doing like uh, some short some uh, YouTube, YouTube shorts, shorts and TikToks, about that. and uh, we are also going to do like a few other things. Yeah, uh, we got some works. we got some plans. We we're, have, we're we working have them out. Pretty big uh things, but it's just like phase 2 is going to take like a while. It's we just, said this. Phase 2 is going to take so. a while. It's hard mm. for with our full-time job it's and hard, a whole yeah. lot of other things to it's, worry about. And, it's, and you got family events and then 2021 mm-hmm. sucked ass and everybody's Here's hoping going. for Oh, a by the way, Monday the 20th, we're going to see No Way Home. Oh. Hype. Hi. Right. We're going with Ethan. We've had yes, him on, on we are guest going spot with a few Ethan. times. We'll, we'll talk about that so, then. Yeah. By the way, thank you guys for joining us for another episode. It's always a pleasure having yep, you guys. Yep. Happy holidays. I really hope you enjoy it. Um, and yep. yeah, just see you guys in the next video. See you guys or for audio, the New Year's episode, I guess. I guess. Yeah, New Year's. Let's yeah. go. Woo! 2022!